you gonna do, brother, when Mattel Basic WrestleMania 2022 Hulk Hogan runs wild on you? Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for a rare basic unboxing and review, especially a new basic. But every once in a while, once in a blue moon, we do these on the channel. And today we're going to take a look at the brand new WrestleMania 2022 basic line, Hulk Hogan. And I picked him up via Ringside Collectibles. You too can go to Ringside Collectibles, use discount code Kyle, save 10%, pick up your very own WrestleMania Hulk Hogan. But we're going to do this like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We'll do a little comparison at the end. So let's take a look at the packaging on this Hulkster. Brand new packaging here. Fits in with the other basics. But it has the WrestleMania inspired logos. All that kind of fun stuff. Uh, we got to believe this is going to be a hard one as far as basics go. This will be the most popular of the set by miles, I, I assume. Uh, we'll show the rest of the set on the back of the package here. But you got the Hulkster looking only like he can look. Uh, it looks a little interesting. It's an interesting glamour shot of the Hulkster back in the day. Uh, I'm not against it. It just really does stick out. It really does feel 1980s is what that feels like. So it's bringing some of that 80s love back into the game right there. Got the big WWE logo at the top. We've seen that with uh, the new Mattel Elites as well. WrestleMania, kind of the Dallas-inspired logo going on there. Of course, we got the Hulkster figure there, and you got his name right on the side. So there it is, Hulk Hogan on the back of the package. There's a Hulkster again. He's ready. He's hulking up, brother. He's ready to go. What are these little dots? Uh, signature moves, the atomic leg drop in the big boot. And then it shows grappler, brawler, high flyer, powerhouse, technician, and his is Powerhouse that is highlighted. So that's some new stuff. I don't know if that's going to be on all the basics or what. Almost kind of like G.I. Joe inspired on the new G.I. Joe packaging where it shows here's what they do best at. And he's just a powerhouse, the old Hulkster, as we all know. Not powerful enough to beat the uh, Ultimate Warrior at WrestleMania 6. We all understand that. But outside of that, a powerhouse out there for sure. Uh, then down below, we got the cross sell going on. You got Bianca. You got Seth Rollins. You got Sheamus. I don't think any of those three are going to set the world on fire at the pegs out there. But the Hulkster, a lot of people will be picking this one up for sure. Warnings, UPCs, all that fun stuff down below. But very interesting new packaging on this basic. So I'm here for it. I'm always uh, interested to see what changes they make for better or for worse out there. But let's get the Hulkster out of the package. Slides very easily out. There it is. See you later. Talk to you later. Don't write. I'll find you. There it is. Hulkster in the package. Looking only like the Hulkster could look if he was in WrestleMania. Uh, packaging basic 2022 edition. It's exactly what he would look like. All right, how can I get him out of this? There it is, see you later, get out of here. And we got the Hulkster basic figure. And now the first thing, we knew this from, uh, was it Steve or one of the guys over there, Bill or Steve said it on one of the live streams they had that this one was going back to the old days of basics. If you remember outside of the uh, outside of the ab crunch, the basics were not far off from elites. You could really uh, mix those guys together. You still can in my setup. But as far as playability and look-alike factor, uh, they very much were similar figures. But now, uh, last few years, we've seen a lot of the extra tooling taken out of some of the basics. Uh, the thigh swivel, the uh, uh, bicep swivel, I mean, uh, stuff like that. So uh, it's interesting that they gave the bicep swivel back to this one. So I'm here for it. Maybe that's something they're going to do in the future. I don't think they will. I think this is the mold we've had in the past, and they just got it. It was easier to reuse it this way. I think that's maybe how it went, but I'm not sure. Time will tell, of course, as you guys know. Uh, but you got a shirt over him, and at first I thought this was like a rubber shirt, but it's like a painted-on shirt. It is a painted-on shirt here. It's just, and it's part of the plastic, so it's yellow plastic and stuff. So I thought it was maybe like a, a thinner rubber overcoat that you could take off and on. You cannot. This is on him. Uh, it's yellow. It's Hulkamania. Uh, and then you got the bandana around his uh, head right there. And that is, I was going to say, is this removable? It is. It is. It is. I hope it is removable. So there you go. You can take his Hulkamania bandana off, which is cool. However, don't ever take it off because I have a big gripe about the last one and the same one with this one. And we'll show that last one here in a little bit. 
Uh, but you see the pegs on the side. That drives me absolutely insane. I think it looks terrible. You have to have the bandana in because those pegs on the side just really take away the face for me. It just takes, a, takes me out of the game totally. But it's a good Hulkster figure in the face. It really looks like him. I wish the tan was here. We saw it with the Hulk Hogan uh, Survivor Series figure not too long ago on the channel. Check out that review if you missed it. The tan on that one was perfect. But now this one's back to kind of that whitish, grayish skin tone we've got. Once you go fully tan, once you go pinless, you can't go back on these Hulksters. Uh, give us the Hulk Hogan tan. We need that deep, deep tan for the Hulkster figures. And we didn't get it on this one, unfortunately. Uh, but like I said, we did get the shirt. Not removable. Nothing to that. Uh, it does say Hulkamania. This plugs right back in. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a bit of a challenge to get back in, so I'm gonna have to play with it. Maybe it wasn't supposed to come out, but it can. It can. But uh, and then you get the uh, knee pads on the Hulkster, the red knee pads, the yellow boots. It's a Hulkster figure, but it's not bad, especially if you got a little kid out there that you know maybe you don't want to buy an expensive Elite for. This will definitely do for a little kid if they're looking for Hulkster. But I don't know how many kids are looking for Hulkster anymore. Are they looking for John Cena's more? Or remember we current guys like Seth and Roman and those kind of guys? I don't know. I, I kind of, it seems crazy to me just because of my age, but it, I think we're to about the time where you don't see a lot of kids wanting a Hulk Hogan in their toy collection. I don't need Hulk Hogan. I'd rather have a John Cena or somebody else that's more relevant to their age bracket or their time of watching, I think. I don't know. It just is what it is, I guess, out there. But the Hulkster, this is okay. If you didn't have this Hulkster in the past, it's good to get one now. It's a cheap version. He fits on a ringside collectible stand, of course. Let me pull out that other Hulkster, though. This is basically the exact same figure. Whoa, was I throw stuff around? Look at me. I'm throwing stuff. It's getting, it's getting intense with this Hulkster review here. I'll put this on here. Uh, it's the exact same Hulkster. It just doesn't have his shirt on. Uh, same hands, same uh, wrist tape. Same everything. It's the exact same figure, even with the just totally ugly little holes on the side of his head. So this is the original one. This is basically re-released. They added the shirt to it, called it a day. This one did not come with a bandana, and that's why I've always felt this Hulkster really just looks so weird. It looks strange with those holes on the side. But it is what it is. You can only complain a little bit about a basic so much, but... It fits somebody's collection out there. Obviously mine. I picked this up. I think a lot of classic guys will pick this up. Uh, but it's a nice uh, starter Hulk Hogan or easy on the budget Hulk Hogan, I guess we'll call this one. But it's cool. I like this. I hope in some more of these basic sets we get some more flashbacks of guys. It would be really nice. We're seeing with the traditional Mattel basics, we're getting a lot of street gear guys, stuff like that. I hope that leads us to maybe some legends. Maybe you give us a... You know, a street gear Bret Hart or something like that. A classic Bret Hart just in his street gear. Uh, that's the first name that popped in my head for whatever reason. Uh, but maybe there's some of those classic guys we can get in more of a street gear or or basic attires out there. It'd just be nice because it seemed like flashbacks a while back. I mean, we even had Walmart exclusive basic sets of flashbacks. Uh, I think that is something that's missing in the basic line. And I think there's a lot of collectors out there that would dive into the basic line a little bit more if they had something for them. So maybe this is the start of that. We'll see. 2022 should be an interesting year in the Mattel brand. As we all know, they did get the license back. We'll see what that means, what changes they're going to implement. Like I said, we've seen Hogan with a, a deeper tan color. We've seen pinless joints, double-jointed knees, elbows throughout. Uh, there's a lot of good changes, I think, coming to Mattel. And, of course, you got AEW there knocking on their door. So they want to be first to the market with things. They want to drive uh, the newness. They want to put their stamp on being the number one wrestling figure company in the world. And, obviously, Mattel has a lot of money to do that if they so choose. So what do you guys think, though? Are you picking up this Hulkster? Did you pass on it? Uh, are you waiting for it to hit retail? Are you just totally out on basics? You're all, all an elite guy. Are you a Hulk Hogan completionist out there? I know there's a lot of those folks out there as well. So you guys tell me in the comments down below what you think about this Hulkster figure. And like I said, he's up on Ringside Collectibles right now. Use discount code KYLE, save 10%. If you are so inclined, you can do that. Uh, follow me on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. Of course, ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson. Support the channel. So for the Hulkster and Hulkamaniacs everywhere, not me, I'm a warrior maniac, but I dabble. Uh, Hulkamaniacs everywhere. I am Kyle. I will see you guys all real soon.